So we used to run Companion on four separate machines at our church, but recently I consolidated all of this down to just one host machine running Companion with the other three running Companion Satellite. So in this video, I wanna walk you through my process of how I set this up for us and uh, hopefully share some tips and insights that will help you and save you some time if you decide to do something similar. The first thing that I wanna mention right out the gate is I think the interface for Companion Satellite has changed like semi-recently. You can see that the interface is a little different than the current version Version. So I'm going to walk you through the most recent version. The first thing that we need to do is obviously set up companion on your host machine, whatever you want that to be. I already have companion set up on our host machine. It's actually right next to me, just our, our iMac here that we have in our live stream room. If I was to set up a new host machine, it would work the exact same way as basically setting up a, a new instance of companion. So, you know, you would just select whatever network interface you want to use that has all your connections on it. There's really no difference between uh, creating a host and uh, just a normal instance of companion now to set up companion satellite on one of your satellite devices whatever you want that to be make sure that you have the companion satellite software installed and then also make sure you go ahead and plug in your stream deck whatever you want to use there go ahead and plug that in if I launch companion satellite here and I go ahead and hit configure on the top toolbar it's gonna to pull up this window and this is the window like I said is a little different than what I've seen in other videos so this is what I guess it looks like now but it's you know fairly straightforward enter in the IP address of your uh, host companion instance so this this is our IP address for that I don't change this port and then uh, this port down here I change to match whatever the host is so in this case it'd be 8000 and then you would enter that in hit save you can see I'm already connected because I already connected to it before so when I opened up satellite it immediately connected I see my stream deck down here is connected the exact same button layout is showing up so everything is working as it should here but the first time I did this, I did not get it to work right away. When I first tried to set this up on a couple different machines, actually, I had the same kind of issue I ran into. And it took me a second to troubleshoot, but the Stream Deck was not pulling in the buttons from Companion um, at all. So it would show that it was like connected, everything looked fine, but the buttons weren't showing up correctly. So if that's the case for you, there's a couple things that I think you should take a look at. First, I think is this rescan USB button. I think that's what that button's for, but I hit that button and it didn't do anything for me. So here's what I did that uh, fixed this issue. So if you're running into this issue where your Stream Deck isn't pulling in the companion buttons from your host companion instance, I would go ahead and open companion on your satellite machine, select the wireless interface, launch GUI just to pull up your connections page. If you go over to settings and you scroll down to surfaces, you want this checked on, enable connected Stream Decks. And so it, when it's disabled, support for Elgato software plugin will be enabled. And so that's kind of confusing, but basically just make sure this is on and that will turn off the Stream Deck software on the actual Stream Deck. So it's like companion only, no Stream Deck software, and that's gonna give you the best success when using Companion Satellite. Now that we've done that, I want to hop into our host connections. Like I wanna hop into our host companion backend, right? I'm going to type in the IP address for our host machine, which is 222, and then the port is 8000. And now I'm seeing the actual companion backend for for our host machine. So here are all of our connections. We have all of them. If I go to the button layout, you can see our button layout is here. Everything is as it should be. Now, if I go over to surfaces, I can also rescan for USB. If I still, you know, am having trouble with the Stream Deck pulling in the buttons, I can rescan USB here to see if that will do it. Uh, you can see under surfaces, I have two Stream Decks connected right now. This is actually the one right here in front of me. So it is working. You know, if it wasn't working, I would rescan this USB. So you can see it it is showing up here and everything is working as it should. Again, if you want to adjust any settings on how this thing operates, you know, what like the settings here, what page it starts up at, current page that it's on, all of that needs to be done through the host instance of Companions. I spent a lot of time like diving into the settings because I didn't realize that I was on the, you know, local machines companion like, you know, settings and backend. I was trying to configure those settings on like the local companion instance. So you need to go to the host machine to actually configure the settings for each Stream Deck. So even for the Stream Decks that are connected over satellite, you need to go to the host instance
instance to actually configure those settings. Also, you can see here, it's giving me a warning, ignoring Stream Deck devices as the plugin has been enabled. So it's talking about the Stream Deck plugin there. On our Stream Deck that is local to the host computer, we are using the Stream Deck plugin. So we are using it there. We're not using it on any of the satellite Stream Decks. I think that's probably the safest way to, to go about it. Uh, you might be able to still run the Stream Deck software, but you're definitely gonna have uh, easier success if you uh, just don't use the Stream Deck software at all. So now if you've done all that, uh, turn the Stream Deck software off, rescan the USB here, looked at all of that, and uh, you still can't get the buttons to show up on the Stream Deck, last thing to do, is to just unplug it from the computer and plug it back in. That works for me. I literally spent like a couple hours like trying to like troubleshoot this. I could not get it to show up, could not get it to work. And then eventually after like closing companion satellite, reopening it, reconnecting, changing the address, changing it back, like all of this stuff, I ended up unplugging it and plugging it back in and it booted right up and it has worked flawlessly since. So that is my tip for you. If it won't show up, then uh, go ahead and unplug it, plug it back in and uh, see if that'll do it for you. So hopefully that helps if you've ran into uh, some issues like I have. Make sure you're editing all of your settings, all of your backend settings on the host instance. That is tip number one. Tip two is uh, if you can't get things to connect, rescan USB, turn off the Stream Deck software. Lastly, if you still can't get it, unplug stream deck and plug it back in so those are my quick tips on setting up a companion satellite hopefully that was helpful if there are any other tips that maybe you have from personal experience leave them in the comments down below maybe there's some other people watching this video that could benefit from those as well so now that i've worked out all the kinks in uh you know the setup process and all of that and uh, got things up and running with companion satellite uh, i've enjoyed it so far it's definitely easier than managing four different instances of companion which what i was doing now i didn't change things up that much but you know if i did make a change and I still wanted that to reflect across my other um, instances of companion, then I had to copy it over to three more machines. So this definitely simplifies the process for, you know, adding to our companion buttons and actions and things like that. The reason I even, you know, started diving into this stuff was because I got one of those Stream Deck foot pedals and I put that on stage with me because I play guitar at our church. I'm now using companion to control where my MD mic is being sent to, whether it's the band or the media team, uh, or even through the mains, I can press a couple buttons on the Stream Deck pedal and actually be able to route my mic to different places, which is pretty cool. And because all of that is running through one host machine, I'm actually able to alert all of our media team members that I'm trying to talk to them because uh, they might not be wearing headphones or might not you know, be able to hear me without putting on headphones. I'm able to actually alert them via each of their Stream Decks. So I have buttons light up on their Stream Decks letting them know that I'm trying to talk to them. I wouldn't have been able to do that without using Companion Satellite and having one one host machine with all those buttons. So that's why I initially switched over to this. And obviously after I sorted out through a couple of those issues I was having, I've had no problem with it since then and it's been pretty solid. So I've just been able to turn on a companion satellite, reconnect and we're good to go. And uh, everything's been up and running and been working smoothly ever since. So that is my experience with companion satellite. Again, let me know if you have any questions, maybe I can answer them. Maybe there's also more experienced people uh, than me who can also answer maybe some questions. If you know people ask some questions in the comments, uh, I'm sure there's other people who know this better than, than I do, honestly, but uh, this is just my experience of what I kind of ran into when setting this up. And I wanted to share that in case other people are trying to do the same thing and they're running into the same issues or, you know, having the same problems arise. So I just wanted to share this in case it would be beneficial for anyone else. I am planning on doing a full video on the Stream Deck pedal and how I'm utilizing that uh, with Companion. That might not be done by the time I post this video, but if it is, I will have that video linked down in the description below if you want to check that video out as well. But if you're watching this, and I haven't posted that video yet, it, it will be coming, it will be coming. Uh, so just go ahead and subscribe and then you can see that video when I do post it. So subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.